Hey, what's up, YouTube? Mike here, episode 7 of Retro Buyer's Guide, and we're going to be talking about Mayhem in Monsterland for the Commodore 64. So this game is such a gem for the Commodore 64 because when it was released in 1993, it managed to capture a console-esque gaming experience on the Commodore 64, which was previously thought impossible. Uh, the developers were able to do this by exploiting a bug in the uh, C64 graphics chip, which allowed it to scroll the width of an entire screen versus the previous uh, seven pixels, which is what most developers uh, implemented in their games that had uh, screen scrolling. Uh, as a result, the controls are really fluid, it, it feels really good, and it looks really good, and it's just a great game for the Commodore 64, so I highly recommend picking this up uh, if you happen to have a C64 lying around that still works. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to the um, software company Psychotronic, who re-released this game in 2009. I picked my copy up. Uh, for, uh, I believe, 20 bucks, they send you both the NTSC and the PAL version on disc, and uh, it was well worth the money. And uh, they also have a lot of other great titles that are available for the C64 library, so definitely hop on over to their website and check them out. So because of the sheer size of this game, it does take quite a while to load. And I'm actually going to show you how long it takes to load by going downstairs and making a sandwich while this is loading. And uh, by the time we're done, uh, this game may or may not be finished. All right, hang on. All right, I got the tripod all set up. Let's make a sandwich. So the great thing about C64 games is that you can pretty much take a break uh, from whatever you're doing because it takes so freaking long to load them. Especially the tape games, which can take upwards of about 10 minutes a piece. So, yeah, just be weary of that. Get some lunch meat in there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a good sandwich. Yeah, let's just, yeah, let's just make it extra yum. There we go. Throw a little cheese, and I think we're good to go. Perfect. And now I'm upstairs, and it's ready to go, so let's, uh, let's play some Mayhem in Monsterland. I love the little MTV logo right there. Mayhem TV. So the first thing you're gonna notice about uh, Mayhem and Monsterland is it doesn't look anything like any other C64 game you've ever played. It's got a nice long intro animation that uh, plays all the credits. Look how colorful it is. It's just a nice looking game. Also, this theme song sounds pretty much exactly like the Tiny Toon Adventures theme song. Do you guys remember Tiny Toons? Anyways. So as you enter each stage, the status is gonna be sad. And that's because you've got to meet a couple of objectives before you can progress to the next stage. The objectives are pretty much the same every single time. Uh, killing enemies and collecting stars is the name of the game. Once you do that, you can progress to a happy version of the stage where everything gets uh, really colorful and the music gets happier. Speaking of the music, not this track in particular, but a lot of the other uh, music for Mayhem and Monsterland make great use of the Commodore 64 sound chip. I'll highlight some of those tunes a little bit later. So you pretty much make your way through the level like I'm doing now. You can bounce on enemies' heads to kill them. Uh, there's also a special attack. When you collect enough stars, uh, you are able to do this charge attack where you can kind of plow down uh, rows of enemies. The only problem with that is you often can run off of an edge because this is a platform where there are a lot of pits and things that you can fall in. So you got to be careful with that attack. So 
I skipped ahead a little bit to show you what happens once you complete your objective for the level. Here I'm going to run down into this little part so I can go ahead and end it. Once I kill this guy, here we go. Oh no, I'm falling. Am I dead? Nope, I'm fine. Uh, I just met another dinosaur and he says, Well done, Mayhem. You have collected enough magic dust for me to spread across Jellyland. I can now make it happy, or something to that effect. And yeah, so here you go. Everything's happy now. And uh, pretty cool music changes, uh, really colorful, like I was talking about. So I wanted to show you what happens almost every time I have to charge attack. Watch this. Yep, right in the pit. Uh, I don't seem to be able to use that correctly, so... Anyways, uh, it can be useful in some situations, but I pretty much fly in a pit every time. The good news is you can pretty much get by by just bouncing on enemies' heads, which is uh, what I do about 99% of the time. Um, it's pretty forgiving, too, in terms of just being able to drop on top of them. You don't necessarily have to be directly on top of them, so that's nice. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get that heart right there, but I have no idea. So one of the things you've probably already noticed is that a lot of the levels look very similar. You're going to be fighting a lot of the same enemies over and over again. And I think that's more a symptom of this being such an ambitious game for the time for the Commodore 64. Uh, but what is there is really enjoyable. How do you get those hearts? Anyways, what is there is, is really enjoyable. And, and, and again, to put it in proper context, this was a really impressive game for the time. So, you know, nothing like this had ever been done in terms of you know, replicating a console platforming experience because with a platformer you need precise controls and uh, you know you didn't have that on the Commodore 64. So to wrap things up I think this game is really fun I think it's really impressive I you know I, I still can't believe I'm playing it on a Commodore 64. Yes it does take a long time to load as uh, we went over in the beginning of the video but I think it's well worth the time and uh, you know honestly it's probably good for us to take a break every now and then from gaming. I mean I don't want my machine telling me when to do that like my Wii where it's basically like hey you've been playing for five minutes are you sure you want to play some more are you sure are you sure? Speaking of the Wii uh, this game was released on the European Virtual Console uh, in the Commodore 64 section but no release over here in North America. America, so what gives Nintendo? Well, that about wraps up my thoughts on Mayhem and Monsterland. Uh, I definitely think you should pick this game up. It's only about 20 bucks, uh, so go ahead and grab it if you have a Commodore 64. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash users forward slash Game Buddies Plays. We're also on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Game Buddies and Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Game Buddies. Uh, please follow these accounts. It's the best way to stay uh, on top of what we're doing. We're always making content and we're looking forward to interacting with more of you out there who are fans of gaming and retro gaming in general. So uh, please follow these accounts. It means a lot to us and uh, it keeps us going. Uh, click on the links here to watch some other videos. And uh, until next time, happy collecting.